don't make me regret this choice. You guys are joining us now in the Archimoto FUV. I did one lap of the parking lot, and now we're gonna go take it to the In and Out Burger drive-thru. Because <laughs> we're in Cal me. because we're in California, and that's what you do. So let's see how this goes. Oh, do we have a parking ticket for this thing? And there's the EQS of about the most different from this as you can get at this event. Steering is uh, quite heavy, there's no assistance. And you have to use a regen, like trigger of sorts, I think is the best way to describe it, to slow down. And then there's a brake pedal on the right side. It's hydraulic but unassisted, so it's as firm as you would expect. Do you know how to get to in Yeah, I have nav. There's a built-in phone mount, which is actually oh. kind of great. <laughs> The phone mount is the most positive thing I have to say about this so far. The phone mount is excellent. <laughs> like I said, I'm not scared to be in this. I'm scared to be behind, have you behind the wheel of it. Regen severely reduced on the screen. Okay, that's fun. It's at 83% state of charge. So we'll see how much we- just used it too much going down. Oh my God, we're in it. We're being behind. I'm gonna throw up. My seatbelt is all locked up. Ah. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. Yeah, Why does it say it says regen reduced <laughs> yeah. because it's on high charge? At 83%? Yeah. It's only 160 volts battery system. Oh, okay. So the turn signals are on the uh, handlebars. I don't, I don't think I've ever used the word handlebars on a video before because I've never made a video about anything with handlebars. So the controls are on the handlebars, including the lights, the horn, um, the hazards, there's a kill switch, so that's fun. <laughs> and there's five like buttons down here, you guys probably can't see that, but they don't do anything currently. Uh, this is... Different. Quite something. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to die at every given moment. Don't you dare. <laughs> it has like a decent amount of power, but you wouldn't really want much power in this thing anyway. That's wide open throttle. <laughs> and that's as much confidence as I have in this thing to like for speed, at least at this moment. Oh my God. Brakes work. <laughs> That was a combination of uh, regen and mechanical brakes. I feel like, like it almost felt like it was stalling. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna floor it at this light since we're going straight for a moment. This is floored. Yep, watch that speedo. 20, the minivan. <laughs> 30, 40. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Everyone is looking at us because they sh they should. should they should be. I would Rightfully be looking at so. anyone in this too. Um, we we've got the doubled up seatbelts because apparently they don't realize four point harnesses are a thing, and would probably be a whole lot more effective. <laughs> it is and ridiculous. <laughs> oh God. And it definitely reduces power when you're turning, which is probably for the best so you don't roll the thing. Yeah. Regen is hard to modulate, being a thumb trigger. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Do you know that person? That was Lexi and Tymon. Oh. <laughs> In Jordan's Miata. Okay. There's a Steve, lot of on for dear life back here. There's a lot of motor wine at steady state throttle. <sighs> it has two front motors. And it like I said, the regen is really hard to modulate because I'm not used to modulating regen with my pointer I've never finger. I felt more sick in my entire life. 
and we're going to In-N-Out. I don't we're know if I mentioned that. that fast. I mean, it's really cool being out in the open air, but also I'm glad there's no rain in the forecast and we're in Southern California. Oh, we're getting on the interstate. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, this should out. I'm, no. I did not sign up for that bit. <laughs> Okay, this might actually just be like a frontage road, actually. Okay. I think it's just a frontage road. I don't know if I would be comfortable taking this thing more than like 45. And that's even kind of pushing it. Because this is 34. It supposedly can go 75, but... It can apparently go 90. No, well, the guy said it could go 75. Just because Kyle got it up to 90 does okay. not mean it's supposed to go 90. Okay, true. <laughs> Let, let's race the Prius here. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> they clearly didn't know we were racing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we are getting on the interstate, but no. I'll, just I'll just stay on this frontage road. Okay. And, I like, think that will, and I think that will take us to the same place. I can't wait to see the reaction of the in and out drive through people. This well, is we go never go through the drive through either, but we have to. This, yeah, there's no choice here. You have to go through the drive through and hopefully you guys can hear us. If the audio is terrible, I'm sorry. If the audio is that bad, we just go through or both True. like an Instagram story. <laughs> Nothing else will just make a short out of it. This thing is so ridiculous. I think... Oh. The fact that there's a windshield wiper on this thing is... Uh, optimistic. <laughs> I am also freezing. <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing heated back... Oh, there's a heated seat. Here, I'll turn your heated seat on. Thanks. <laughs> This, this one in particular has, has 3,800 miles on it, which is crazy. What? Yeah. It's a rental. Oh. Wow, regen with any bit of steering angle is terrifying. It actually has a decent amount of power, like, when you're already going versus if from a stop. Yeah. I wish I could do a burnout, because that'd be hilarious. And regen, it might be slightly modulated, but I, it feels like it's just an on-off switch. Everything feels very inconsistent. This is this is very hard to drive smooth. The ride is um, as bad as you'd expect. It's very firm. It has suspension, but it's just a very small vehicle and. There's not much travel. Steady state throttle, like I said, lots of motor noise. Well, I'm sure they can hear that. Yeah, I'm, hopefully. That's 50. Oh my god. <laughs> we almost there. We're 0.7 miles away. Okay. Also, there's a cup holder between my legs. That's my favorite part. <laughs> but you don't have a cup holder, do you? Between your legs? No. But the other lady was like, just get a really long straw. <laughs> yeah. And it has two doors I could get out either side. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just utterly <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see at least a little bit of Kaylee's face because I'm sure I'm she's- I'm trying to keep my head like to the side. Okay, I'm sure she's making s at least si slightly ridiculous reactions to this. I would be. They can't see all the eye rolls because I have sunglasses on, but- True. <laughs> Do you want to ride it or drive it back? Oh no. Okay. That would be even more terrifying for me. Oh, I'm pretty terrified. You're a pretty annoying drive to try. I'm behind the wheel. The bars, not the wheel. There's no wheel. 
Whatever. <laughs> That was 60 and that is utterly terrifying. This thing feels like it could roll at any moment if I turn the the bars too much. Yeah, like God forbid you had to move abruptly. <laughs> Ooh. There's a reason three-wheelers like essentially became outlawed in the ATV world. That is a line. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so we're going around to the In N Out Burger drive through line and we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Because it looks like we have to do a loopy loop here to get in the right direction for it. I must say, there's actually not as much like wind directly on you as you'd expect, but there's pretty comprehensive glass here. I feel like there's got to be a lot more wind coming back here because I'm freezing. Okay, probably. <laughs> like, I know I'm a freeze baby, but like, it's pretty warm out. Tight turning circle, so that's nice. I hope so, it's tiny. Someone's and running their life away at a car dealership. And now we're going to be joining this very long in and out drive through line, so that's fun. I'm almost tempted to go around and see if I can park and we can just walk up. Because we'd be parked right out front anyway. Yeah. Let's do that. Of course we can double back. I'm... <laughs> this is a ridiculous line. Looks like it, maybe. But you're not like handicapped or anything. I don't know where you're playing the car. Uh, that's a great question. Really parking here. You did not really think this through at no, all. No, I did not. Oops. <laughs> I'll just back up. I'll park over there. Yikes. Hopefully this thing is going to be pretty easy to park. Yeah. Uh, or maybe not, because there's no parking spots. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I was going to say you can just park in the red zone and I can sit here and move it if needed. Right here, I guess? Yeah. That's going to be way faster than that drive through line. Yeah. Alright, well we're going to go over to In-N-Out Burger and see how this goes. So to turn this thing off, you put it in neutral. And then you hit the parking brake down here on the control panel. And it makes a very loud noise to engage the parking brake. And I'll do the kill switch and I'll hit off. And I think we're good. And we gotta undo the double seat belts. Yeah, it took me a minute. I'm like, why is it not coming up? And then I remember there's two of them. I mean, this dual uh, doors is handy because we can get out on whatever side we need to. Yeah, so we're gonna go wander over to uh, In N Out Burger. Well, we made it back into the Archimoto. We got our In N Out Burger, and now we're headed back to the charging plaza. Oh, helps if I put it in drive here. 
Oh, and release the parking brake. And we're down to one camera because the battery died. So that's fun. And let's hope we don't die going back. <laughs> Kaylee's holding on to the in and out burger and I'm driving. Riding, driving, what is it on this thing? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I am impressed. The cup holder fit, or fit an extra large in and out drink, which is um, not something that can be said about a lot of vehicles. Like, I don't think our Teslas would fit that. But well, we made it back in one piece. <laughs> well, two pieces, because we're two people. <laughs> um, I would say the Arkimoto is very fun. My real only complaint, I'd say, is the price. The, the one we rode was like 24K when I configured it on the website, which is a lot of money for what it is. I would say if it was somewhere like five to maybe even like 15-ish with like some incentives or something, it could be a good value, but the ride, the practicality, uh, it's just not $24,000 worth in my opinion, but it'd be certainly a fun like beach money. car. Yeah. If you just want something fun for 25K, sure. But if you're looking for something practical, this is probably not rent the best. Rent it out. Get it run. Oh, rent it out. Yeah. I'd totally rent one again, like at a beach city or something. They're fun. I would probably not own one at the current prices, though. I would own one if I could rent it out a lot. Like if True. I lived in a beach area. True. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Sorry the GoPros died a little prematurely. See you on the next one. Like and subscribe. You guys know the drill. We got to eat our in and out. I couldn't wait. <laughs>